Hey guys, and welcome back to The Invincible. My name is Twitchy, playing the part of Yasna, astrobiologist for the Commonwealth. We come to a real, really weird planet where the Commonwealth say there's some uh, alien activities going on. We got here to uh, investigate, and wouldn't you know, the enemy alliance had already made it here. But when we got to their base, no one was around. And we're just exploring that right now. Indeed, we have found our way, oh, as soon as everything loads up, we have found our way into the enemy base here. Uh, we found a mission briefing that told us all sorts of wonderful things they were doing, like investigating the ocean. I'm going to just let this load. <laughs> Okay, it turns out if I want the game to load properly, I've got to do a complete 360. Uh, we found uh, their, their mission plan here, and they went to the ocean and had a look at stuff, And but, but, but where is everybody? I think this one, called Alarm Print, might tell us some stuff. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. Uh, there isn't much of it. Oh, well, it not much is not record. nothing. What's the single record about? Death? Oh, no. Who, who died? He's dead. Waited for a day until his heart couldn't take it anymore. Wow. Interesting. Coordinates changed uh, upwards. He went up to the sky, you say? One, eight, five, six, one. Am I supposed to remember that? Seven, five, four. Yeah, it's Gorski. I'm sorry. Oh. How is it possible? He's dead. You said. You lied to me. I mean, he lies to me a lot. I had to. My oxygen bought him time, and, and for what? He only suffered longer. Why didn't you let me turn back for him? Please understand that sometimes I have to make difficult calls. I'm not supposed to burden my subordinates with such decisions. You wanted to protect me? I know you were trying to protect me. I know. But still, I bad call. Act as though what you did was justified. You had no right to hide the truth. None at all. It was up to me to decide if I was willing to risk my life. I know you, Doctor. You wouldn't leave Gorski even if his chances of survival were marginal. In the end, you would both die. Maybe. <sighs> Probably. Probably. It's true. By now, though, you should tell me the truth, Novik. It's it's true. We've been through a lot. If you could just let me know what what it is you're talking about, that that would be great. Uh, okay, there must be some other stuff around here to give us some sort of information. Like, what is this over here? I'm at the control station. What does the control station give us, though? That is the question. Are we controlling the base device switch? What are we do? Several units can be controlled from here. But what are we controlling? Is there a probe somewhere? I wonder which. Oh, do we get to look? Is this VR? Is this like suddenly? Oh, damn. One's unavailable. Okay. Well then, then how do we... Okay, so number one is unavailable. Let's come back out. Do we switch to number two down below? If we turn the switch, what... Oh, I've got to hold it down and then move my mouse. Okay, that, that's fine. Number two, what are we seeing? There's nothing on the screen, so I'm assuming... Ooh! I got the feed. Okay, can we rotate? But I can't get it to move. No, nothing seems to be going. It's got a weak signal. Must be too far away. Alright, we're gonna go find that one. Almost definitely. Almost definitely. I'm not sure what enemy tech is gonna do for us though. Surely there's some sort of like login system or something like that. Some sort of I don't know, DNA check to make sure that I'm from the right place. Oh. from above. It's a flying probe. There's the bubble. I'm betting it's we're in there. My presence. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Can I? Never too much data. What, da Especially what data? In the situation. What data are you gonna get? I just need to find a place to land it. I mean, I saw something called landing zone over here. I think I think that's cool. So if I move forwards, I can just move forwards. Uh, e and Q to up and down. I wish to down. Uh, so down we do go. Uh, I don't know how quickly we're going to go down. I've pressed down for a very short amount of time, and it's carried on going down. Probably okay. Time to get into the records. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to check the other numbers, though, if that's possible. Like, what, what have we got for four? Let, let's have a look. We could just go rushing out and have a look, but I feel like that wouldn't be uh, the... I oh, no, nothing on four. Okay, I, I've got a feeling there's not going to be nothing on five as well, but it would be very remiss of me to not have a look, right? I, th I think we're all in agreement that I should at least look and make sure there is nothing there, and indeed there is nothing. So let, let's let's go and 
check out the probe. Uh, how do how do I how do I get out of here? Hello, uh, W W. Sometimes you have to press S. Sometimes you have to press W. It, it's kind of confusing. Okay, so now I actually have. <coughs> if I can confide in you guys here. I actually have no idea where I am in the base. I just kind of walked around some corridors, and normally I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at keeping track of things like that. But uh, today didn't really work out for me. Uh, let's go up onto the roof and oh, it's an observation dome. Oh, this is nice. Why don't we have one of these? There's a lever here. Um, is that going to turn the bubble off? I don't know if I wanted to do that. It won't let me turn it back on afterwards. Okay, that's that's fine. What's the why? The force fills down. I open the passage. To where? To why? Follow the convoy route now. Oh, was that blocking us? When you're ready, Doctor. Okay, this is a problem with going around and exploring games like this. One, one more. Another satellite will be over this ship. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. How lucky. Clouds are low. Does that mean we're not being spotted by them, or we're not spotting them? I I don't know. Ship's not here. Which ship? There, or... I assume we're talking about the Invincible. Are you still looking? Mm -hmm. Not here either. What? How are they not anywhere? Look, Bingo. tires. I want tires. Yes. Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. What the Invincible? Good to know. Thank you. So the Invincible is like the big ship of the bad guys. It's like it's their their actual flagship, right? Uh, so I feel like oh, is that the probe? Is that the probe? I, I feel like knowing where it is is not the. Well, I mean, knowing where it is is good, but like I don't think we want to mess with it. Hello, do you do you contain data? Um, back here. Thank you very much. First images from this area. If it's been flying long enough. It may store important information. I hope so. Most of these things do store important information. And let's be honest, we can never get not important information from the bad guys. Okay, so they, they've come along and they've set up base. That That's nice. And then, is that me? I feel like that's me. Okay, that that's cool. I did, did it get what? They found my rover. Oh my gosh. I'm not about it. I'm not about it. What, what have we got to say about this? This record is fresh. Yeah. Unfortunately... Apart from my arrival, the probe didn't record much. So it's been flying only recently? I think so. What What does that tell us, though? Huh? So they, they sent it up... Ooh, ooh. Good day, sir. How are you? It's always a little weird to spot a humanoid body. Can we can we talk? Hello, Mr. Ro Roboto. How are you doing? You look just like a friend of mine. The silhouette I saw. Yes. It's just a robot. Just a robot. That's not the right time of voice. Can we can we get this up and run? Nah, it'll probably try and hurt me, right? Let, let's be honest. It, it's an enemy robot. It's um got got the latest AI in it, and it's not going to be very good at telling uh, telling that there's a bit of an emergency going on, and that it shouldn't shouldn't try and kill me. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I did notice that we could go into here, but like, really, have I explored everywhere? We came out of there. What's what's in this door? What's in that door? I feel like these are places I have not been. I can't I can't jump up. What is this? What is this? I um oh hello. But this. There's, there's, there's like this whole research. Oh, was that was was there something there that I could pull? No, no, it wasn't. It was, it was just a thing. Yeah. So there's this whole research wing over here that I feel like we should try and get into. Can we go around the other side and get in? If not, I'm gonna have to go in through that back door over there, which I'm not, not super super great about. But we we can we can do it again. That's fine. Oh, that one opened, not this one. Okay, I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. Uh, we can run. That that we can do. Oh, what what's this? Hello? Any equipment? I, could, I I feel like I should be opening these boxes up to see whether I don't know there's food or electronic equipment that could help me get my way out of here. The, these would be good things. These would be good things. Okay, I'm gonna turn right, 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 right. Let's let's see what happens if we keep doing that. We're gonna go back to the command center, which is up here. Hello, welcome to the command center. Uh, and then, oh, we triggered the audio cue again. That's that's not what we want. And then over here, hello. I'm entering the next module. I guess it's a bio lab. Looks like it. Look at this. This telling me this we doesn't have the need. Opportunity to study organisms preserved in the ocean. 
Well, what is it? And they've discovered. Well, let me guess. Fish is similar to those on Earth. Kind of. Yeah, very similar. Very. Uh, what? Why? Apart from one, I've never seen anything like this. They discovered a new organ. New organ, not they organism. Organ. Run some tests already. According to their conclusions. Yes. Yes. It detects electromagnetic waves. Oh. In order to develop such an organ, they must have had a strong external stimulus. But, but sharks do that already. To detect the waves to survive. No, no, they see it. No, well, well, no, sorry. Let me, let me just. There are things on Earth that do this. <laughs> They're like, no, no, no. I've never seen it. No, there are things on Earth that do this. Don't, don't, don't try and tell me it's new. <laughs> it started rotting. Ugh. The fish. In a bacteria-free environment. How so? More bacteria. All living organisms serve as breeding grounds for bacteria, and there were both fish and humans in here. This is true. This is true. What? What is this? And what is that? Jars. Read that. No longer alive. Can I take this? Is this just like a random? Oh, oh. This one might be alive. Uh, okay. I feel like we've got stuff that we need to know here. I. So I almost definitely they're trying to set up that this is to avoid whatever big bad came along and ate everyone, right? Because the the all the probe cores reported like elevated. Um, EM waves when Still, when trouble nothing. arrived, right? Like when when Gorski died like and stuff like that. Lab. Okay, I'm down for studying rocks. I'm down for studying rocks. What do we get any information here? Local set. One of these diagrams shows a geological cross section. Yeah, As suspected, it's all metal below the surface, of relatively thin layers of rock. But compared to the rest of the continent. The deposits in this region are significantly younger. I wonder how they told the 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 the, the age of it. Uh, on on this planet, uh, not this planet, but on Earth, <laughs> there uh, we we measure the amount of irradiation on the top of rocks because like cosmic rays and stuff. Who? Wait, there's footprints. But yeah, cosmic rays and stuff come along and like mess with all the uh, the atoms on top, and we can measure that. The range of their ground measurements covers a much wider area. To my eye, it seems they use advanced sonar. Not advanced sonar. What they dug up here stretches for tens of kilometers. What do you mean? What's in the ground, Doctor? Metal deposits. Those structures. We still don't know where they came from. In such a peculiar form. Were they put there by aliens? Unbelievable. Only do we know nothing about their origin, but the arrangement of these deposits is sort of puzzling. You're sort of puzzling. A ring system with a distinct center. Oh, we are going to that center at some point. You know it. Uh, here's the base. This base stands on the outer ring. Yes, and then... The center of it is in... Hmm, it's where we base? The city. Oh! The one I escaped from. That makes sense. So their presence there had nothing to do with us. Looks like it. They were just there for the city. Determine the entity's function, origin, anything. <sighs> well, it's hard to say. There's nothing here about it. Okay, we with nothing about whatever it was that messed us up in the city. Oh look, look at that. For the new adventure. What a great name. What a they good conducted thing. a soil survey. Propaganda. Hundred meters deep. Ooh, half a kilometer. Oh, that's a big piece of history, so to speak. Indeed. What did they find? Basalt, lignite, what, coal? Sorry, coal? <laughs> uh, ferrous clays, more. Okay, let, let's see what we got. Millions of years ago, life was abundant on the planet. Okay, that explains the coal. Hmm, that would match our assumptions. Yeah. Subdelta 92 class planets have very favorable conditions for the development of a biosphere. So what happened? Did they draw any conclusions? I mean, we, look, look, read the words down here. Org life, you say an organic life. Mech life, excuse me, basalt. Uh, I, I, I am worried about this. Let's talk. According to them, the extinction of life was caused by a supernova explosion. It would have to be close. Well, close ish. activity does not indicate. It happened long ago. Longer than we anticipated. Ten million years? We dated this event to ten million years ago. 
Only this one. The supposed end of Lyran's civilization. Well, that's never been proven. There was practically no trace of them. All right. What happened after? Coal formation and stuff? The regeneration of Life was slowly recovering, but never returned to the pre-supernova peak. Not enough time? No. At first it developed quickly, but then slowed down and declined. Because another disaster? I've just noticed that we've got density on, on the axis here. This is not a cross-section, this is a, a how-much graph. Okay, that, that's interesting. Astrogator, the change in the biosphere development curve coincides with the occurrence of heterogeneous clays. This whole metal contraption, do I understand correctly? Yes. Yeah. I don't know what that has to do with it, though. Metals are really not that dangerous. Well, I mean, some of them are. The radioactive deposits marked here are not a definitive obstacle for life, either. The biosphere has the ability to perfectly adapt, develop defense mechanisms, and fight back effectively. Oh, yeah, almost wow. always. Unless the planet is hit by a supernova wave. Yes. Such sudden events leave no time for adaptation. Yeah, okay, all right, all right, I like this, I like this. The Even if we assume that these metals were lethal to organic life, that extinction shouldn't last forever. And yet, life never again developed beyond the waters. What was holding it back? Dominator has appeared on the land. Oh, one that leaves no trace behind. Therein lies the rub. The Alliance have conducted a great deal of research. That they haven't found a logical explanation for this phenomenon is, to put it mildly, disturbing. Clearly, we're dealing with something beyond our comprehension. And I mean human comprehension in general. Whoa, big, 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 big words. We will never understand this. Uh, does that mean the writers just didn't didn't fill in a point? You know what I'm saying? That they're just like, nah, we're just we're just gonna leave this like very nebulous. Which like fair enough, I suppose that is fine. I want to actually go back out. We're not gonna be able to turn around and come back. The reason I want to is I want to make sure that I've been to all the modules. You know, you know, I've been one. I've been to that one. We walked in this side over here correct I, be I believe so this is the command module and i think this is the way that i went in we, we came in oh no oh i thought i thought this was the door okay so there must be a door around this way instead okay so this is where i walked in where is that the anti-mat over there okay that's that's fine what can we get into this one i really want to explore this entire base before i leave because i feel like no i can't i can't get up there i feel like there's more pieces to the story here they they've done their research right i i sure haven't so i wonder what is going look this has got a um, serial number to it i i'm, I'm very disappointed that I can't take over this anti map. Uh, I oh, no, I got stuck on its leg. Uh, I I would really like this to be my friend. Yeah, you know, look at it. Wouldn't it be great for it to be on my side? Um, that that would be good. Okay, we came out of there. That went around that way. I I think we've done it. I think we've explored the base. So with that, I am gonna jump in here and see what's up. Do, am I just taking a new rover? Did I not go back and get my other one? Like, do I know that this one is capable? Is that is that something that we have determined already? I am not sure. Let's roll out and see what we can see here. Like, we are going in this direction. Let's open the map. Uh, where am I? I'm there, and we're going to follow field base 02. That is where we go. This is where we... Um, convoy pathway. Wait a minute. Are we not going to the field base? Follow the Alliance convoy. Here, if you're wondering, sir... It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Are we, though? Are, are we really in this together, or am I in this and you're just up in space, ready to disappear as soon as I die? Like, uh, he's just, he's just going to get into cryo... Hit the, hit the warp drive and get out of here. I don't know if they're doing warp drives. I feel like the fact that we had to get in cryo means that we've got, like, relatively slow space travel. Am I getting out to check out this this field emitter here? I think I am. I mean, just, like, look at it. 
How could I not want to get out and explore this field emitter? This thing made made a, an amazing force field, and I just don't know whether I'm supposed to be overawed by the tech or not. I've said this last time, and I'd like to say it again. A force field. Oh, oh, look at the sun. A uh, force field's normal. A force field's normal in this world. Do I not have to worry about it? Is that? Yeah, the, the, these are the questions I have. Okay, so we've just come down from there. Let me let me check the map again. Uh, we are indeed pointing in the right direction. That way goes back to base, so I don't want to do that. Though there is like this whole nice run round here that we've not been to. I don't think I'm that bothered about it right now because I'm trying to follow a convoy. Maybe in the future we will go back and check it out. But right now is not that time. Right now is the time to go and... I mean, off into the wilds, of course. What, what else would we be doing? Oh, we're loading shows. I'm leaving the base. Going after the convoy. Yeah, what else are you going to do? That that was literally the the job that was given to us. Like, I, there, there was an objective, and I followed the objective. Was there something else that I was supposed to be doing? Man, she keeps singing this song that I don't know anything about. Am I... What field? Huh? Legs become too heavy, hands become too weary. Got ourselves little dust devils over here. Oh, it doesn't like me going towards the dust devil. Bright sun, night is not that scary. Hide behind the dark woods while we're running barefoot. Why does almost every sci-fi involving a lead female character involve them singing when they're scared? It happened in Aliens, it happened in other films that I can't think of the name of right now. Uh, it, it just seems to be a bit of a trope now. It seems to be a bit of a trope. Um, okay, let's, let's follow this very obvious... Right, Is that... Are those metals there? Are we looking at copper? Is that is that a thing? I just don't know. Look at this pathway. Are you telling me this is not supposed to be followed here? Is that the excavator that we saw when we... Oh. Oh, bit, bit, bit of um, quicksand there. Did you see that? Is this the excavator we followed first time? Giant excavator. Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. It is, isn't it? It's rather hard to miss. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They set up a huge machine at the centre. Yes. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. But how big is the ship the they've ships got here? That brought all of this must be gigantic. Yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units any? in the largest orbital stations. Even the space Lacking stations? It's a bit excessive. Oh, it's a bit overwhelming. Gives me the chills just knowing it's not far from here. Well, maybe you won't have to see it at all. Oh, you know we're going there. There, there ain't no way we are not going there. But I think think with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time we're going to explore the excavation site because you know you know there are things to look at here but i will see you then when we're going to do that bye can i even cross this <laughs>